And uh, hey, how you doing? Great. Good. You having a good show? Having an excellent show. It's a great show. This has uh, been an awesome venue. Yeah. Uh, it seems like there's the customer responses have all been like totally positive. Um, it's just been really good. Yeah, I, I, I've been on a whirlwind tour, Callie, as you know, of all these events, and I, I try to judge the um, the success of an event by the degree to which the high-level marketing glitz matches with the customer excitement. And right. I'd say it matches pretty well here. Yeah, here I would definitely say it's been say that. absolutely incredible, actually. I mean, you know, I go to a lot of events as well, and the, you know, the customers here, the partners, they're just extremely happy. They're thrilled. I mean, I'm, I'm not talking about people up here because, you know, sometimes we wonder if they're just saying it for the cameras. But just oh, come in on, the hallways. Uh. <laughs> the cube has that intoxicating effect. Yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> <laughs> but in the hallways, you know, everybody's super excited. And one of the main things that we've heard uh, is the labs. The they, hands-on labs. The hands-on labs yes. are like the hot topic. They've actually been a real success. You know, the hands-on lab sort of evolved uh, from the Equalogy user conferences that have happened over the last year and year and a half. Yeah. And the first one that we had uh, was instructor-led training only, and it was received really well. You know, but we started to get more of a customer base going to these forums, and the hand and the, for the second Equalogic storage forum, uh, the instructor-led training filled up in like two days. So there was a lot of customers and a lot of feedback basically saying, you know, I'm really bummed that the instructor-led training is full. Mm -hmm. I really was hoping to get better training, like hands-on type yeah. training and that sort of thing. So we uh, constrived like sort of a makeshift uh, sort of 20 station hands-on lab at the last user forum. And there was a line down the hallway, out the door for people wow. just to come in and do just a basic, you know, administration lab so this time we're like well how can we improve on that you know how can we really make this useful where customers will have the leisure throughout the entire conference to come in take mm -hmm. a bunch of labs go to a session see something they like and then play around with it yeah you know and and so what we did is we we built uh, 24 different labs uh, across 30 stations for the Equalogic products. And then we started talking with the folks from Compellent in Powerball. And they're like, you know, this is a great idea. Let's jump on board. And then they built Compellent yeah. hands-on labs and Powerball hands-on labs and IDM. And it, it's been awesome. So you basically have rooms full of these. Yeah, I, there's a, a large room and there's different quadrants. When you go in and you want to take a Compellent lab, you can go in the Compellent quadrant. Uh, IDM lab, you go in the IDM quadrant, and so on. But so it's not it's not demos of future products as as much as it is real hands-on existing stuff. Do people exactly. get to break things? Yeah. They so do. It's not about they selling. <laughs> it's not about selling new stuff and marketing. It's, it's about, about teaching, education. education. It's yeah. about tr tr uh, knowledge transfer. And That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Because you figure there's so many sessions going on. And they're all on different topics and different tracks, uh, especially with like host integration with the storage systems, um, different technologies like replication and snapshotting and data protection. And they can go to these tracks, but then they're skeptical about really implementing it in their environment because A, they haven't set it up, right? Mm -hmm. Understandably. And how can they get their hands on it, play with it, become familiar with it prior to and in, in integrating it into their environment. Are there any other opportunities throughout the year for, for a customer to do that? Well, it's funny you bring that up, actually, because uh, you know we've been talking with a few folks uh, in the engineering uh, executive team about you know how can we offer this throughout you know ongoingly throughout yeah. the year? Can we do something where maybe customers can sign up and and do these labs online, perhaps? Um, and so on. So is it as useful online as it is? It would be in very person? similar to where where they're at now. The only difference is they're not going to have that lab proctor sort of hands-on, right. um, you know, assistance. Which should, you know, we'd have to make sure that documentation is really clear. Yeah. Right. So that they understand exactly what they're doing and the steps that are needed to complete the labs and Maybe so on. Maybe include some pictures. Oh, there's lots of pictures. <laughs> there's lots of pictures. I was going to ask you about documentation. So I mean, a lot of this is setting it up properly, right. right? And knowing how to do that. That's right. Step by step, do you document that? 
as a deliverable? Uh, we do. Well, one of the things that we've done is is we took a look at what it took to build these labs. You know, it's all built on Dell storage blade, blade servers. Uh, there's 16 ESX servers that are running 1,600 virtual machines uh, across 40 terabytes of Ecologic arrays and uh, one and a half terabytes of RAM across the board. How big the is the room you would have needed to do that <laughs> 20 years ago? Oh, I know, right? Now it fits in two half racks. <laughs> That's like the Pentagon, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a massive environment, but you know we're using we're using VMware and we're using ESX servers, and it scales really, really well. So we've had re- a great success with it so far. We're really happy with the results, and and we're kind of like, well, you know, we knew there was a demand, but we didn't know what the demand was going to be, and now we're seeing that the demand is is high, and the the responses that we've gotten on feedback surveys and so on have been just outstanding. Yeah. Even now that you've opened it up and, you know, it's the whole com- it's during the whole conference, you're right. still seeing a steady flow? Oh, yeah. It's a steady flow in and out. Some folks are in there and they're taking, you know, multiple labs on different tracks when they have time, okay. leaving, going to a session, coming back, okay. taking another lab and so on when they have some free time. I, I think, you know, Kelly, that's one of the things about the Dell Storage Forum that, that I like is the this thing's going to grow. Uh, oh, yeah. For oh, sure. It's going to explode. But the roots of the Dell Storage Forum are the hands-on people. And so it's the yeah. it's the practitioners, it's the, the people who are solving the day-to-day problems. Right. And it's going to grow from those roots. So I think that it, it, it will, you know, we'll look back 10 years from now and say, hey, remember when we were in that, you know, the little hotel? And, <laughs> That's you know, exactly and, you know, right. You know, the little hotel. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, so I think that that is, is, is it's, it's smart because it has that grassroots feeling to it. Yeah. You know, yeah. even though there's some good marketing and, and, and Michael Dell came in and everything else, I think that, um, and this show will grow, but it'll, it'll become more business oriented, but the heart of it will, will be the, the technical side. So. Right. Well, that's the whole backbone of it, right? Is mm-hmm. We wanted to create a forum and an avenue where customers could just learn. Yeah. You know, it's not a, a you know, a conference that you go to in Vegas where, you know, you, you get a bunch of different vendors and it's all marketing fluff and, and a bunch of oh hoopla we do this we do that type of thing it's like nope this is what you have to work with learn learn how to work with it be comfortable with it so, so that deep. you can yeah. you can go further with it and, and, and better the usability and increase your your you know working efficiency in your data centers so I know the conference isn't over yet and you haven't had time to you know relax and think about I, things but uh, just right now what do you think you'll do next year different one of the things we're going to do next year, uh, for sure, is probably scale the labs bigger. Okay, even bigger. Oh, everything grows. It's like data, right? It just keeps growing, <laughs> yeah. you know. Um, but yeah, we'll end up scaling the labs bigger. Okay. Um, probably offer more tracks, um, and just try to continue with, you know, the momentum yeah. and and the excitement about you know users coming in and being able to get their hands on stuff. How much demand is there for you know more more application specific um, integration and demonstration and hands on like for instance Exchange you know 2010 or SharePoint. Tremendous. Tremendous. Yeah, right. You see that as a Well, one of the things sure. that we find is that you know customers will buy storage products and they'll integrate the storage system into their environment but they won't take advantage of the tools that they have available to them. Right, across the board. I mean, it doesn't matter if what storage product it really is, but um, there's so many different tools like monitoring software, you know, performance monitoring software to better monitor your SAN, uh, host integration like data protection with Microsoft Volume Shadow Copy Services, things of this nature that can improve the environment and, and really, you know, automate tools and utilities for the administrator that they either A, are aware of, but not quite comfortable with using uh, and decide, well, I don't really want to take that chance. You know, this way, it gives them a chance to use it and, you know, better familiarize with how these operations work and how these different technologies integrate with the applications and so on. So. Good. Well, this is fantastic. Um, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Together. Yeah, it's been a great, I mean, the whole forum has been a real great success. Merging you know, the Equalogic user farm with C Drive right. and making it one, you know, unified Dell forum has just been phenomenal. And, and the responses that I've gotten from customers on the Equalogic side, on the Power Vault side, on the Compound side, 
they're all super static about this, you know. Yeah. It seems like there's a lot of good vibes. Yeah, good energy, definitely a good vibe here. Yeah, yeah. for sure. You know? And yeah. it's intimate. Like you said, it's intimate. It's, I'm going to miss the, the days when it's intimate. This thing is going to grow. It's going to explode. Everybody's going to want to be here. Oh, yeah. You're, they're definitely going to You're going to have it in the big, giant conference center. I can see so it. So you're missing out there. is what he's saying. Yeah. Because <laughs> well, you, you, you just you can feel the, the buzz. It is going to grow. You can, you can yeah. sense that with shows. You know when you're at a show and you're like, uh oh, next year this is going. No, uh, yeah, you're this thinking is, to yourself, "What are we going to do this, this next explode. year? It's going to double I, I, or triple." I, I, I tell you, the same thing with Citrix. You know, Citrix Energy was just this energy, and you, you just see that thing is going to explode. Yeah. So I get the same feeling here. You know? yeah. Yeah. Well, again, more intimate, you right? Know, but uh, a lot of excitement. Yeah, it's it's been great. Like I said, you know, I mean, all the responses and the customers have learned a ton. I've talked personally with probably, you know, a hundred or so customers about integrating with SQL Server or VMware or Exchange and these different operating systems and applications and how what are the best practices to do this. Mm. This is my environment, but I'm a little skeptical or I have a question about this type of setup, you know. Most of the folks here are, you know, either engineering or uh, technical technical folks in they can address these types of concerns and issues, which is great, you know. I mean, it's not just I'm going to a conference and I'm going to hear a bunch of tracks about what's coming. It's, yeah. This is what we have, and now that I now that I know about this, what do I do to, to change my environment to make it better? Yeah. And a lot of the customers here, you know, small, mid-sized businesses. That's yeah. what you guys hit. Yeah. Um, um, you sell to a lot of the Web 2.0 guys. I didn't happen to meet a bunch of them. I, I don't know if you did, Kelly. You know, the, I, the yeah, big scale out mega data no, center guys. That this is not the show for them necessarily. But the reason I'm asking the question: Did you get any questions around this 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 whole emerging area of Hadoop? Is that even mm-hmm. in, on the radar screen of your customer bases? You know, the big data thing, analytics. Um, it definitely is. Uh, I uh, you know there was a session today that I presented on on SQL Server best practices and, uh-huh. and we had a customer in Germany who had a 40 terabyte SQL Server environment and they were scaling it, <clears throat> excuse me, and he wanted to just know, you know, this is how I laid things out. Is it correct? Yeah. You know, is this, is, is this appropriate? Is this the right way to do things? Did, did I architect my network correctly? Did I, uh, you know, design my database layout correctly and that sort of thing? And then his next follow-up question was like, what can I do to make it better? You know, what about technologies like deduplication and, and some of these other things? And, you know, these are the things that we can address for him. So. Well, we appreciate it. That's hey, a thanks great for having me on QTV. Yeah, Derek. The, uh... Well done. <laughs> All right. You know, next time. We'll be watching. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. All right. You're welcome. Thanks. Thanks, guys. So, wow.